Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank and welcome back to Regent Elevate and today we're going to talk about the PPP2 program or the Paycheck Protection Program Second Draw. Um, basically what happened is Congress set aside $325 billion for small business programs, $284 billion for this second phase of PPP. I know many of you have probably already applied, but we thought we would go through the basics of it just in case uh, you haven't and you're confused about whether or not uh, you qualify. Businesses qualify if you have less than 300 employees and if your gross revenues are down 25% from 2019 to 2020. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the same quarter and compare it from 2019 to 2020. Just look at your gross revenues. Gross revenues don't include any kind of PPP dollars that you received uh, in 2020. So you're going to basically compare those two a like quarter and if you're down 25% you do qualify. You may qualify if you have more than 300 employees as long as you meet SBA eligibility requirements or if you are in a NACE code 72, which is either um, hospitality or food service, restaurants, that type of thing. It establishes a maximum loan size of two and a half times your monthly, average monthly payroll for most companies and three and a half times monthly payroll if you are a NACE code 72. Now payroll is determined by either taking the full year 2019 payroll and dividing it by 12 or taking the most recent 12 months uh, from the time that you apply for your PPP2 loan. Either one of those will work. And payroll can include a lot of stuff. It can include any types of insurance, uh, obviously cash pay, housing, al housing allowance, car allowance, really any kind of compensation will work uh, in your payroll uh, calculation. Borrowers will receive full forgiveness if they spend at least 60% of their PPP2 proceeds on payroll. <clears throat> the difference here is the other 40% uh, percent can be used on a lot of, uh, a lot more expanded things than before. So it can be pretty much any kind of operating expense for your business. You can use the other 40% <clears throat> .40 for uh, and you will be fine. You can use your covered period, so, so the, the period in which you're going to calculate the payroll expense can be either uh, 8 weeks or it can be 24 weeks after disbursement of the dollars. Churches are eligible for this, religious organizations are eligible for this, um, and, and the affiliation rules for nonprofits still apply as well. Good news, all of your PPP proceeds for both Program 1 and 2 are tax deductible, so you do not pay taxes on PPP uh, proceeds that you've gotten. It simplifies the forgiveness uh, process for any loans under $150,000. It's basically just a one-page uh, forgiveness application. Um, it establishes a loan amount calculation for farmers and ranchers that make it a lot easier for them to qualify and better aligns with their recent year's income. It eliminates the requirement that the EIDL, E-I-D-L advances, this was an SBA loan program, be subtracted from SBA forgiveness. So if you've already fallen into this and your banker came back and said, hey, you gotta pay those idle dollars back, and if you paid them back, uh, you don't have to do that and you will be receiving a check uh, from the SBA paying you back. You don't have to withdraw the, that from your PPP uh, dollars. There's also a $15 billion Save Our Stages program that is designed to support shuttered uh, venues theaters, museums, and zoos that have experienced significant losses, and we know many of them have. That program is actually not through your bank. It is directly through uh, the SBA. There's a 1% interest rate on the unforgiven portion of your debt. If it's not forgiven, there's a five-year term. Um, to, to prove up your revenue loss from year to year, you don't have to have tax returns. You can use any financial documentation. It can be QuickBooks, it can be uh, bank statements, it can be quarterly tax statements. Whatever works for you, they will accept. Um, no publicly traded companies will qualify for this. 
uh, and they do have tailored calculations if you have a seasonal business or a newer business that started up until February of this year. So that is PPP2. If you'll look at our website at regent.bank forward slash PPP2, we have more details out there for you. And please just let us know if you have any further questions. Thank you and have a great day.